world is an entire metropolis, a gateway to the world shaped by maritime traditions and culture. And that is also important for us. So as we are here now in the Harbour Museum, you of course we see our tradition and we also live our tradition. The modern port is located about 135 kilometers inland from the North Sea, situated right in the heart of the city. Hamburg joined the Hanseatic League, a trade alliance, in 1321. And the Hanseatic League was the most important economic alliance of the early and high Middle Age. At the height of its power, roughly 300 coastal and inland cities were members. And nowadays you still find, for example, the colors of the Hanseatic League that was white and red can still be found in the coat of arms of many Hanseatic cities. The official names of the cities go back to the time of the Hanseatic League. An example, the colors of the coat of arms of the free and Hanseatic city of Hamburg are still red and white. As trade grew, so did the port. An example is, Hamburg itself is known for its beer, which is shipped to Scandinavia and Holland. Back then, Hamburg had around 500 breweries, which is why Hamburg was also called the brewery of the Hanseatic League. For centuries, sailing boats were the dominant features in the port of Hamburg. From 1881 to 1888, the Freeport was established and the Speicherstadt, that is the warehouse city, was built. Until today, it is the largest continuous warehouse complex in the world. Hamburg also is a cradle of cruise shipping, which was invented in 1891 by Albert Bally. Last year, we could welcome about 400,000 passengers here with cruise ships. In 1967, Hamburg saw the start of the container age in the port. In 2002, the container terminal Altenwerder, currently one of the world's most modern container terminals, started operation. With an annual throughput of nearly 10 million TEU, Hamburg is also one of the largest container ports in the world. We have was here within the port of Hamburg excellent rail connection. Hamburg is Europe's largest rail port hub. We have modern and efficient transport hubs serving central, northern and eastern Europe. And we are close to the Kiel Canal and the Baltic Sea and the economic areas over there. Within the port roughly 145 million tons of cargo are moved through the port annually making its Germans largest seaport. And to say for today, a brief reference to the intelligent port is a smart port. Mm -hmm.